Salute, salute, Jack Talk Podcast. We back in the building. I am your host, Rick. Follow me on Instagram at Rick underscore BHR. Hit the email, jacktalkpodcast at gmail.com. Hit my website, bhrclothing.bigcartel.com. Tap in with me. I'm here. I'm back in my cave. I'm at my, my, my chair. I'm on my computer. I'm on the mic. You did Jack Talk Podcast. We here. We back in the building, man. Um, I've been chilling, you know what I'm saying? Chilling and working, you know how that go. Um, yo, <laughs> let's get right. Let's, let's get into this Mike Tyson situation, man. All right. First and foremost, why would anybody want to, why would anybody even go to sleep and dream about testing Iron Mike? The last nigga in the world you want to test is Iron Mike. Now, I don't know if this guy was drunk. I don't know if this guy was looking for a bag. I don't know if this guy was looking, you know, to, to, to go viral. I don't, I don't know what people will be having on their mind when they do dumb shit. You understand what I'm saying? Because I'm not a type of person that do dumb shit. So the, the mental capacity it takes to do dumb shit and you look at people like, why are you doing dumb shit? I don't know. I have no clue. You understand what I'm saying? So dude is on the plane with Mike. He's sitting there. He's in my ear. He talking, talking, talking. Clearly, Mike is ignoring him. Mike been on his peaceful zen. You know what I'm saying? A whole different frequency. Mike is, he on a whole different time, right? Next clip, Mike is, Mike is tuning my man up, right? <laughs> he tuning my man up. And it looked like Mike knew it to me. It looked like Mike was taking it easy on him. I don't think that Mike was really, you know what I'm saying? Because it kind of looked like he was kind of smacking him, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe just like, you know, like, nigga, like just tapping him. Like, look, man, I could I could do this to you here, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could really put you to bed on this plane. Like, I could put you to bed right now. I look like, like, because if Mike would have really, like, like really, you know what I'm saying? Probably, he probably would have bowled my man head down the road, down the aisle. You know what I'm saying? So it looked like Mike took it easy on him. Um, should Mike get sued? No. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. I know, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think I read somewhere that dude is trying to sue. But my thing is this. I Don't go out provoking people and then get upset when the person you provoke do something to you. You know what I'm saying? And they say he threw a water bottle at Mike, whatever the case. Don't do that. People are too entitled nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because this person is a celebrity, they don't owe you anything. You know, you should have did. Hey, yo, Mike, I'm a fan. Salute. Keep up the good work. Whatever you want to say, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all on a flight. People like uh, allow these people to have their personal time. That's how I look at it. Now, I'm not saying you don't ever ask for autograph or no, never like get a picture or nothing like that. But, you know, if you feel like, yo, this person would prefer to be bothered, not bothered, it's okay to say, hey, man, like your work, salute, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Just be a grown up about it. People be drunk. People be looking for a paycheck, an easy come up. They go provoke Mike Tyson, Iron Mike Tyson. Dude, what's wrong with you? You didn't know this dude done knock people out in 30 seconds in the ring with gloves on. You didn't, you don't know who that is. You know what I'm saying? So you go and you provoke Iron Mike Tyson. It makes no sense. This is the world we live in. That people in the street can provoke Iron Mike Tyson of all people. A nigga that said he'll eat your kids. You're going to go provoke him of all people. But hey, man, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. What what can I do? Uh, I seen another video, and I, I really want to believe it's Photoshop. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't see no evidence that it was Photoshop. I've seen you know a few reports saying that it's a real video or whatever the case. Um, I feel like I seen a video of uh, Joe Biden. And he's, you know, he's doing a press conference. And then after the press conference, he turns around and he goes to shake someone's hand and they're not there. He, he's looking around like, you know what I'm saying? It's as if he had a conversation with a bunch of people that wasn't there. You know how 
you know, you're doing a press conference, you turn around, you shake this person and shake that person. Hand, oh, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for whatever the case may be. Um, he did that and there was nobody there. Now, again, I'm not, I'm not one to get into the political talk and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm on my platform. I'm trying to create this platform and just get my, my uh, point of view on things, react to things, have dope discussions, talk about, you know, things that interest me. Um, I'm not too deep into the politic game. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I honestly, it's, it's, it's all a scam to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I do feel like we need to change up the way we do things as far as politics and who runs this country, you know what I'm saying? Um, if that video is not Photoshop and that video is true, I think that it should be a age restriction on presidency. You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like somebody who's 80 something or, you know, late in their later years, maybe they're a little too disconnected to see what's going on on the ground level. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's start giving people who's coming up now in this era, in this day and age, let's start giving them a shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, that looks crazy and nobody addresses it. Did anybody address that? If you come across this video, cause I am recording myself doing this video. Um, if you come across this video on YouTube or you come across my audio, you know, on whatever your favorite podcast app is. If there's a video of someone speaking on that incident, send it to me, please. Jacktalkpodcast at gmail.com. I haven't seen nobody talk on it. I just seen the jokes and the memes and things like that, but I haven't heard anyone from the White House speak on it, which is crazy because y'all will speak on anything else. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to know why our president did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's already out there. Maybe it's been out there. I'm just saying. I seen the video a few days ago, and the only thing I seen from it was jokes. You understand? So, if it's more to that story or more to that that video clip, let me know. You know, um, I definitely want to check that out. But I do think that you know our president should be like with today's time. You know what I'm saying? Like most of these politicians, yo, these dudes is. They've been around since, you know, man, you know what I'm saying? Like since our parents was kids and things like that. So it's like, how, how are you really understanding the world today that we live in? You know what I mean? Um, you know, just a thought, you know, hit me up in the email, leave a comment. Cause again, this is going to go on the Jack Talk podcast, YouTube page, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm going to bring some content, I'm bringing more content over there. I'm going to see how this work out you know, and um, we're going to keep it going like that, so, but yeah, I seen that, and that, that, to me, that was just crazy, you know, um, let me see what else I got here, oh, you know what, you know what, hold on, yo, I'm going to play this clip, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to play this clip real quick, I'm going to play this clip real quick, and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to speak on it, let me, let me play my, put my phone to the speaker real quick, told me told me literally this year sorry og i'm sad we're getting old okay he said if i play his son he'll be in the movie so if this ever reach out to anybody who will get anybody i promise you at his mouth this is what he said to me chris tucker at his mouth told me told me literally this year sorry all right so that's dc young fly saying that chris Tuck, chris tucker told him out his mouth that he'll do the next friday if he played his son because remember in um if i'm not mistaken i think um chris tucker was saying like you know he didn't really want to re rekindle the friday uh franchise because you know he's on a different path so he don't really want to promote the smoking and the and the violence and things like that which you know as a fan, it's like, damn, man, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, he's a grown man, so we got to respect his wishes and his decisions, you know what I'm saying? And and appreciate the Friday that we did get with him, which is a classic. They don't even make movies like that no more, you know what I'm saying? But um, I'm that, yo, my wife, my wife would tell you that for years, for years, I've said, yo, 
they should either, I said, they should make, I said, if Chris Tucker don't want to play Friday no more, maybe I said, maybe he can be, maybe he can have DC Young Fly as a, as his son, you know what I'm saying? And I said, let Ice Cube's son play his son, right? In the movie. Now I said, yo, he just said that uh, Chris Tucker said he'll do the next Friday if, you know, uh, if if uh, he play his son or whatever the case. And I used to always tell my wife because I'm a big movie, I'm a movie buff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I actually had a podcast called Movie Talk, which, you know, I stopped doing because it was, it was, you know, I'm a movie head. I buy movies all the time. Like I still buy DVDs. I don't need them, but I collect them just for nostalgia. You know what I'm saying? So even when I'm around certain places, if I see something I don't have for my collection, I'll buy it. You know what I mean? Um, when I'm get done with this podcast, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch movies. I'm gonna watch something. Um, so I'm a movie head. So I always be coming up with these movie ideas and things like that so I said to my wife I used to say this all the time like yo why and instead of them keep you know once Chris Tucker if he's hell-bent on not doing the Friday why don't they just take DC Young Fly Ice Cube's son and create a new Friday for this generation and let them be this generation's Friday but don't make it a gimmicky Friday. The first Friday wasn't gimmicky. You know what I'm saying? The first Friday was, yo, a day in the hood. So make the new Friday for this generation just like that one, a day in the hood. Even if you reenact most of that day, you know what I'm saying? and put it in a new one, then maybe it could work. But don't have a crazy one like Friday after next. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, it's cool, but, it, you know, it's it's more comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got Santa on the roof and this guy's right. Run- like, you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot going on. They running through all the different houses and things like that. The first Friday, they was on the block. Them niggas went to the store, came back to the block. And everything took place on the block. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's how that shit used to be back in the day. See, nowadays, everybody, nobody's outside. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's in their house, on their phones, whatever the case. But back in the days coming up, nah, we at the park. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the proper neighborhood is or wherever you, wherever your hood is, you around your hood playing basketball. Niggas is outside. So why, why don't they do that? You know, it's like Hollywood be on some nonsense because there's so many movies that can be made, but they don't choose to make it. Why wouldn't you? You have a fucking DC Young Fly. You have a Ice Cube Son. Create this era in this generation's Friday and just make it realistic and funny, just like the first Friday. I don't want to see Santa Claus on top of the roof. Mind you, I'll watch Friday after next and next Friday, you know what I'm saying? As something to watch, cool. They, they're not the worst movies in the world. They're nothing. They're nowhere near the first Friday, in my opinion. They're nowhere near that. But I'll watch that because I'm a fan of the franchise and, you know, it is what it is. But make this Friday realistic. Let them go through their own Friday and you can branch off and make more Fridays off of that. And this era will have a Friday. Y'all got to start bring, making cultural shit to bring people back into the movies. You know what I'm saying? I'm a movie head. I like to go to the movies. We just went to see last year. We went to see Sonic last week. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was going to go see Ambulance, but I don't know. I might, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I might wait till it come out. I'm not like I want to see it, but you know, they're not making movies like they used to make back in the days. Like if you remember back in the days, it was it was fire coming out, man. You know what I'm saying? It was fire coming out. Um I actually seen a meme that I want to do a podcast on because it was like a movie meme and it was like the 90s. And I think if I'm not mistaken, it went from like 90 to it went from like 90 to 2000. And then it had like five movies in 91, 92, 93, 94, all the way to 2000. So I think I want to do an episode on that and then, you know, break down 
the movies that I picked from that year and why that would be dope. Um, I got to find that meme. Um, so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, why don't y'all do that? Like, why y'all always dragging y'all feet on shit? You know what I'm saying? And I've said this on previous podcasts many a times, many a times. Uh, the Wire, 50, came through, Power Universe. Where's The Wire Universe? Y'all got so many characters on that show that can just generate, 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 generate. Why y'all dragging your feet? Why y'all not doing this shit? Bring urban movies back. You know what I'm saying? Bring urban movies movies back because it's street shit going on. Where's all the directors that make movies about back when Minister Society was popping off, Boys in the Hood was popping off, Juice, New Jack, that was what was going on. Now we got all this shit going on, right? All these, all this shit going on, all these killings, all of these things. Nobody's making no movies wrapped around that with a message. You know what I'm saying? Juice had a message. New Jack City had a message. Don't be uh Minister Society had a message. Boys in the Hood had a message. Why nobody's making movies with messages, but still telling the urban story? Only thing we get now is action movies. Where's the urban black drama? Matter of fact, me and my wife, we just watched um, The Devil You Know, the new Omar Epps joint. It was cool. It was cool. It was all right. It was something to watch. You know what I'm saying? Salute to him. He he been in the game, still doing his thing. It was something to watch, but it's not the same as a Boys of the Hood, a Menace, you know what I'm saying? A Juice, you know what I'm saying? A Friday. It's not in that level the best man, the wood, you know what I'm saying? Um, It's so many, it's so many, but they don't make those type of movies no more. And that's the, that's the whack part. You know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah, man, yo, people, man, again, I need some movie ideas. Hit me up, man. If anybody's listening to this and y'all like a movie writer or, or director or something like that, y'all need movie ideas. Come get with me, man. You know what I'm saying? For real. Get with me, man. I got I got what you need, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but something else I want to talk about before I get up out of here. You know, I'm about to go upstairs, grab some dinner, take it down. You dig? Um, I feel like the baby is, I feel like somebody's on his ass, right? I'm talking about rapper the baby. So footage just recently came out first of all he, he you know he had an incident at his house where allegedly you know what I'm saying someone was trespassing on his property he had to use his firearm and do what he had to do um now footage is coming out of his walmart shooting um i'm not going to go into detail about what's on the video everybody's seen the video everybody knows what's going on he's rapped about it he's talked about it they seen the video um my thing is this, you know, I look at like the baby's like a pop star, right? But he's not your average pop star. You know what I'm saying? Now, I feel like sometimes when people get into a position of money or fame or fortune and all those things, they 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 feel that that you know it won't stop. You know what I'm saying? They feel like the money won't stop or their popularity won't stop or their, their, you know, their fame and fortune has just come forever. But things slow down. You know what I'm saying? When you start to piss off the wrong type of people, things slow down. These people, we don't own none of these platforms. You know what I'm saying? Like, I follow I follow uh, funny creators on YouTube that's got, I mean, that on Instagram that's gotten their page taken down over, you. they don't even know why. Because these niggas don't even post like crazy shit, might post some funny shit, but they got their whole page taken down. But yet you showing killings, you showing carjackings, you showing this dumbass parkour shit when people is doing dumb shit from jumping from roof to roof and and you know all this shit standing over the ledge doing dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? You don't care if a little kid see that shit and think it's cool. Like, oh, I can, oh, I can go up on top of my fucking house and and, and jump off and be okay. Y'all got that shit on the platform, but people making jokes and things like that, you're stripping them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do feel like, you, look, at the end of the day, sometimes people 
when people get tap into shit, like like I said, the baby's a pop star. The baby is. There's a lot of people who who look at the baby and they might not really know the baby. You know what I'm saying? So when 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 you start pissing people off, the higher ups and people in all these places, and they start looking into your background and say, "Oh, whoa, 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 this is the guy my kid like." Oh, this guy, he did this in Walmart. He did that at his house. He did that over there. He did that over there. He did that over there. He did that. Again, I'm not blaming the baby. I don't know, son. I don't know, son. I like his music. I think he can rap. Cool. I'm just saying that when we get to a certain level in a certain place, man, on that, on that, you know, on that, with that status, Yo, you are a pop star. Sometimes it's cool. Sometimes it's okay to fall back. Sometimes it's okay to not react to things. Sometimes it's okay to let someone ha- else handle the situation. You don't always have to be hands-on. Nothing is more important than saying, yo, you know what? I'm about to get my I'm about to get my family, my family good money. I'm on this right now. Ain't nothing more important than that. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks. If you know, see me, I'm the type of person I don't care what nobody thinks about me. You dig? Cause your opinion of about your opinion about me is not gonna change me and my perception of me. You did? Because I know what type of person I am. So you could call me soft, you could call me fucking ugly, you could call me whatever you want. But I know my perception of me and how I view me through my eyes, and that's what matters. Sometimes it's so these like you don't have to be so hands-on, you know, and that's the baby's thing. He likes to be hands-on, he's in these altercations, like dog, you got security. Let security handle that. I don't give a fuck what nobody say, man. You're a multimillionaire. You got kids. You got family to take care of. This money can slow down. Somebody's out to do whatever it is they doing. You got people breaking down the videos. You got people reacting, all this. You got people saying that, no, it wasn't what you said it was. This is a drawing a lot of unwanted negative ass eyes. I don't understand why people, how people get the money when you get the money you're supposed to chill you know what i'm saying i could see running running wild in the street doing your one two doing what you got to do i respect it i'm not here to tell nobody how to move not tell nobody how to live not tell nobody how to do whatever they feel they need to do for them and theirs i'm not here to do that i'm just saying when i get to a certain level i'm moving a certain way and that's that i'm not getting tricked out of my position by nobody I'm not getting brung down by nobody. I'm not here to prove to nobody that I'm gangster or none of that. As a man, I'm going to do what I do, period. That's even right now. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Call me what you want. But I guarantee you, as a man, I'm going to do what I need to do, right? Cool. We all should be like that. But if I'm a multimillionaire, oh, okay. Anywhere I got to go and I feel like, nah, then it's nah. Point blank, period. Call me what you want. I got millions of dollars to protect and i gotta and i say millions of dollars to protect because if i don't protect my money then i lose my money with no money i can't take care of my family i'll be damned to put my family in the mansion and then we have to go back to you know what we came from before that and reminisce on the times where we had the bread nah i'm getting the bread i'm trying to keep the bread have fun with the bread. All this proving I'm gangster and all that, man, it is what it is. And I'm not saying that's what he was doing, but sometimes people just can't turn off their mentality. And sometimes you got to turn off that mentality. It's not to be a sucker. I'm not saying, yo, the baby, if somebody run up on the baby and, you know, punch him in his face, he's supposed to say, hey, I'm the baby. I can't do nothing back to you. No, defend yourself, do what you need to do. But I watch and I analyze Sometimes people get in positions and they don't want to let go of the past and their past mentality. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like sometimes that hurt us, man, because again, man, you, you're a multimillionaire rapper. There's nothing to prove to nobody about how gangster you are. None of that. Cause if you wanted to be in the street, then you could just not be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like I never understood you know, wanting to be somebody famous and popular, but at the same time, willing to just throw it away like like the drop of a dime. And again, I'm not necessarily saying that's what he's doing, but I feel like sometimes people don't understand the blessing 
or not even say that because again i don't want to make it seem like like i'm talking like i know this man because i don't but maybe sometimes it's okay to fall back let some things go not react to things not just say things sometimes it's okay to just show up do my job which is rap entertain and go home or go and do my other business I don't have to come out and say a bunch of extra shit and just be so overly like, oh, ah, ah, because that money can slow up when you piss off the wrong people and them higher up. Sometimes you offend people that you don't even know exist. You understand what I'm saying? There's people that's so powerful that they could have said, yo, man, ho, whoa, whoa, who's that? The baby? Hey. Oh, that's what she, oh, what? Sometimes people don't be wanting their kids to be listening to certain shit. Sometimes they let them listen to it because they think it's a safe thing. Oh, it's okay, it's music, it's music, this is that. But then when you cross their radar and they're like, hold on, this is this is the this is the person my kids listening to. Hey man, listen, we need to shut this down. Why now that footage come out? You know what I'm saying, why now that footage is just like five years old. You know what I'm saying? Why now? You know, I'm not here to, I don't have the answers. I'm just saying that people need to really understand their position, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and take into consideration that this money can slow up. Be smart about that shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't take that shit for granted because again, you're doing something that millions of people all across the world will want to do, which is perform and make money. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I build my podcast to a part to a point where I can come and I'm and I do like Budden or other big podcasts where they they go do some shows, boom, boom, boom. I'm not trying to mess that up. That's the goal. Like, but I wouldn't mess that up because I want to show somebody that yo, oh, I'll step in the street and fight with you. Go ahead, man. As long as you don't touch me, as long as you don't touch nobody I'm with, go ahead, man. You know what I'm saying? All that talking shit, go ahead, man. And I've always been like that. I ain't never been. I ain't never been one to fall for the talk shit. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you that. I'll tell you that. I've had plenty of people talk shit to me. I've had plenty of people talk shit to me, but I can tell you one thing. The motherfucker ain't put his hands on me in that way. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay to talk and let it go. Cool, you got that, man. While you talking, I'm on my bus heading to another million dollar show. I don't care what you are talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I'm on the road over here going to a $100,000 show. You here talking about me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's okay to just let shit roll, man. And you don't, the more you go in and try and show your thugness or, or show like, yeah, I'm with this, I'm with this, I'm with this, the worse off the situation be. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just, you know, that's just my opinion on it. I just, I do feel like, you know, in, 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 in conclusion of that little rant, I do feel like I think the homie shit, you know what I mean? Mellow out because whoever he pissed off got it out for him. I will say that. And I do think that. And I, I see a lot of people saying the same sentiment. He even put a post out and say, oh, damn, I pissed somebody off. Yo, bro, man, maybe look at and try and find out who you pissed off and figure that situation out before they, you know what I'm saying, shut you all the way down. It can happen. You know what I'm saying? There's some people out here with some real power that you don't even know exist in this world. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I'm tired. I'm here. I'm about to sign off. Check me out. Um, again, video to this podcast will be on my uh youtube jack talk podcast youtube channel just search it up um i gotta get my subscribers up so you gotta probably type in the full jack talk podcast youtube check me out man you know what i'm saying check me out spread the word like comment subscribe do all that youtube stuff i'm trying to build this platform um if you're listening to me on the audio share the apps uh, I mean, share the podcast with people, do whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on Instagram at Rick underscore BHR. Hit the email, jacktalkpodcast at gmail.com. And uh, hit my website, bhrclothing.bigcartel.com. I'm gone.